The complaint that Ripple filed against the Securities and Exchange Commission CC is the most recent occurrence and it will be discussed in this podcast. As I mentioned before, the Securities and Exchange Commission has decided not to submit an appeal. Let's get started with some news. The most recent report is found here. No, I do not wish to disseminate fake news. It is the most recent piece of information that we have disseminated. People, let's have a conversation about this issue and try to figure out why they would make such a desperate request that goes against all logic. The CC does not have any grounds to challenge the decision. Right now, let's get started with this. It is going to be discussed and we are going to get into greater information about it. The Ripple stablecoin, which is now in beta and on testnet, will be examined in further detail after that. The stablecoin is being tested on both the Ethereum system and the XRP system. What would the price of Bitcoin be if it were worth $6,795? Up until now, it had not been flat, but now it is. The time is 262626. After 24 hours, Ethereum is taken offline. 38% of USDT and USDC are required in order to reach their respective dollar pegs. Where would we like them to be located? It is possible to reach 60 cents. 59,969, I don't understand what six cents are. Why don't we try to improve upon that number? It's time to launch an assault. Let's give it another shot for 66 cents. Displaying the conclusion of a push-up that was completed successfully. The day before yesterday, we made an attempt to go after the region that had temps ranging from 64 to 75 degrees, but the hard people completely rejected our efforts. Because of this, we went back to spying at 57 degrees, but now we are moving ahead from that point on. Get a look at it. We are in possession of a great deal of other firms that we are interested in purchasing. Two of the many lovely things that people enjoy looking at are the Polkadot ARBICPX LMH bar F Jesus and a chain link. There are many other beautiful things as well. It is possible that Bitcoin may reach $75,000, which would represent a 25% increase from its previous level of $62,000. This is according to the data. On the other hand, the assertion that this rapid ascent takes place at the same time as one of the most chaotic times is totally false. That is not at all accurate. We have just been through a very difficult week. A whole month has passed. Undoubtedly, it occurred two months ago. Since Monday, when it plunged 20% to $49,000, Bitcoin has gone back up, despite the fact, the fact that this has occurred. That this increase was based on data from smart platforms is something that should be taken into consideration. When they saw how people were feeling inside the shop, many of the proprietors were taken aback. This is the reason why. People in the market were advised by the expert to get ready for the potential height and excitement that may make Bitcoin reach between seventy dollars and $75,000 in the near future and bring Ethereum back down to $3,500 right now. This is something that I have discussed quite a bit on his show, such as when Bitcoin was at its lowest point when we witnessed yet another catastrophic decline of 99.99% .99 of all price. At this juncture, it appeared as though the institutions were hunting for cash. They discovered it and stocked up at the very last possible moment. The remainder of this year and the beginning of the following year are both doing quite well. Because of the adjustments that we made along the road, we were able to make informed decisions on the homosexual trip. A surge has been observed. The plan that the gay group had was described in a clear and concise manner by Cowie. In the months of August or September, we anticipate a rise. If, however, this current run continues for whatever reason, it has the potential to bring about a crash and a move that will bring us above 74,000 members. I'm sorry, but I can't. It's not often that I choose dates for myself. I am with it. It is not my intention for you to feel frightened when you watch Bitcoin's price rise to 90 or higher and then begin to fall again, saying to yourself, holy crap. The relocation is anticipated to take place in September, although it is also possible that it may take place in August. It will be effective and speedy, and it will continue to be effective for a few weeks. There will be a change in the fourth quarter after that, by the time the year comes to a close. This will take place in either March or April of 2012, and our prices will go back up, followed by a subsequent drop. It is still possible to win the race. When it comes time to file their taxes, a lot of people sell their assets and make any other necessary adjustments to their financial situation. However, I believe that the value of many of your alternative cryptocurrencies will decrease dramatically as summer draws near. Due to the fact that this is my script, I am going to keep to my idea. It is stated by him that he is the most senior legal and judicial officer at Coinbase. There is a dissimilarity between the sale of stocks and the sale of Ethereum or Bitcoin that has been previously owned. Contrary to sales of securities, secondary XRP transactions are not the same thing. Because of the climate that you have created, our friends in the SEC believe that you are superior to everyone else. Indeed, these are the most essential components of the whole. The decision of the Securities and Exchange Commission CT to not appeal the ruling of Judge Torres against the business was a significant victory for the cryptocurrency startup Ripple. There is a great deal for the cryptocurrency community to contemplate and discuss in relation to this development. A statement made by Stuart Aldura, the lead attorney for Ripple, stated that the business would pay the $125 million fine within the next 30 days. The CC had 60 days to file an appeal against the verdict. In addition, Ripple stated that they would take care of the issue after the SEC had received the allocated funds. According to Aldura, Ripple will proceed with its next steps after the SEC has received the funds. Ripple became victorious in each of the four competitions. Although they have accepted a 94% salary cut on the money that Ripple requested, the SEC continues to believe that they have won. Everything that Ripple requested was granted to them. 
assuming that someone makes a request for $2 trillion for me, you are going to inform me that. Only $1 million is required of me, however, not a victory at all. This is a defeat. I have encountered a few folks on Twitter who have stated that the use of forced payments has never resulted in a positive outcome. That is not a logical explanation. When you win, you may still be required to pay a fine. Indeed, that is a significant victory. However, where do you hail from? It's so absurd that it defies logic. It is the same as receiving a speeding ticket for $130 and not being required to answer any questions about going to court or appearing in court. Listen, you will be required to pay me $20 if you inform the judge that you are listening. You did a good job. The victory is of utmost significance. Take this judge to court and ask him to tell you, look, you know what you were doing and that would be a huge victory. Your deception was discovered by us. On camera 130, you were captured in the act. It appears that you will be costing $200. When you depart, I anticipate that you will pay a total of $200 in addition to an additional sum when you exit the building. We have been defeated. Some individuals will make an effort to alter the narrative that you are present to them. These websites should not be given any attention. Complete and utter ignorance of the current state of affairs, not only in the cryptocurrency industry, but in the entire world. How about we have a look at the story on CNBC? They do not comprehend it, both for our own benefit and for the benefit of the cryptocurrency industry as a whole. It is abundantly evident that this government and the chair of the SEC are opposed to cryptocurrency. A war against cryptocurrency has been initiated by them, and it is currently being fought in the courts. During the time that they were attempting to create that emblem, I believe that they lost all that was significant to them. When it came to this particular issue, the court was adamantly opposed to the notion that XRP is a security. According to what they said, a ticket is not a security in and of itself, just like a gold bar is not a security. We were looking for a fundamental explanation in this particular instance. Even though commodities or virtual currencies are sold as securities, they are not securities in and of themselves, although they are sold as securities. Without a doubt, Stuart Aldera is an exceptionally intelligent individual. After that, there will be examinations. ARLUSD, Ripley's is now available for use in private beta on both the Ethereum mainnet and the XRP ledger, which is a very exciting development for us to announce. Neither the purchase nor the trading of the RLUSD is possible. Con artists who claim to have or be able to send Ripple should be avoided at all costs. To begin, I am completely perplexed as to why you would even attempt to purchase this. Given that it is a stable coin, there is no requirement to purchase it. On the other hand, the value of the currency does not skyrocket when it is released into circulation. It has a price of $1, is stable, and is pegged. Moreover, it is currently being tested. Following that, they will be granted authorization, which I believe will take place by the month of October. Following that, the thing will be operational.